going on guys it's your boy tony lifestyle hustles you already know it guys welcome back welcome back again guys today's topic as you already seen it on the uh on top of the video is how to deal with fake how to deal with fake you see it right there how to deal with fake customers guys how to deal with fake customers Woo, man, I hate when people play with my money, for real. Don't let this happen to you guys. Don't let fake customers play with your time and money, for real. For real, for real. All right, this happened to me. Um, now, let me show you my, uh, my little experience to you guys. Um, I've been doing business now with this party rental business for, I'm, uh, let's just say two years, because I'm already close to two years. And, um... I do own another business, which is the auto detailing business. I, I don't know if y'all can see behind. That's my tank. Uh, just got done doing detailing today, guys. I only had two cars to do. Um, now, with this party rental business, uh, well, it's, more, it's mainly a, a bounce house business, but I am looking to expand into a party rental business. But I've been getting a lot of turndowns or how should i say i've been getting a lot of fake customers fake customers um when they say they want something and i book them up and when i get back with them i don't hear back from them again it's like they disappear they disappear you know so i don't want this to happen to you especially if you just started a business um small business i don't want this to happen to you what was happening to me guys all right uh, so now customers take me more serious because now I let them know they must leave a deposit. That's it. They must leave a deposit. So what we doing is we doing a non-refundable deposit. So if I don't hear back from them, see, I let them know that uh, I'm going to get back with them a week before the event. Because sometimes the weather can change. Or anything can change, so they can still get a refundable deposit as long as I can. I hear back from them a week before the event. If I don't hear back from them, that deposit is already mine. All right, that's the only way. Uh, customers gonna take you serious, guys. When you apply strict rules into your business. All right, now I will be touching up on another topic on another video about contracts and stuff like that. Stay tuned for more videos. It's I'm just sharing all my experience about business and it's a lot of stuff that it's not all about just renting out. Well what we do is rent out, so it's not all about just renting out. It's also about contracts and insurance and stuff like that. So y'all stay tuned for all that. But uh I just don't want y'all to fall for this type of stuff. Don't let the customer play with your time because time is money, guys. So yeah. Whew. I was tired of it guys I was really tired of it I don't even know why I didn't throw a video about it because I really want to share this info with you guys and um I was just I, I was just getting back home and I said you know what let me share this to all my people on YouTube all my people that all these people that are trying to start a business um you know don't let any fake customer play with your money guys uh you will get that a lot in business there are people who are just not very sure what they want there's people that just don't know what they want or they just change their mind there are, there are going to be times where this this the the things do change you know there is either could be a family emergency or something like that that's acceptable you know it's life you know things happen in lives anything can change but um you also have to let them know that you mean business so communication level is very important so your customer has to communicate with you you have to communicate with them and that way just to make sure that everything is still gonna be uh you know um uh, it, it, everything's gonna be good so you have your stuff ready for the day before the event before you go over there and do what you gotta do so yeah that's it for this video guys i was just sharing this little small topic i wanted i just wanted to touch on this before i go inside the house stay tuned for more videos they all coming i got hustling videos i got motivation videos also coming guys and of course since i'm doing business now um i 
I'm gonna share a lot of my business experiences. I'm not very experienced with business, but I'm learning and I'm very, very, very excited to actually learn business. It's uh <laughs> it's a learning experience, guys. Alright. But uh it's your boy Lifestyle Hustles. I'll see you in the next one. Y'all be easy and keep grinding, guys. I'm out. Deuces.